This is a president who is actively engaged every single day. I've seen it for myself. Okay. Um, let's get to some of that specifically. You say he's actively engaged, and yet... Um, according to his former Border Patrol chief, who spoke out on 60 Minutes, Raul Ortiz, he never spoke with the president. Ooh. The entire time he was the border chief overseeing 21,000 agents or the vice president, given the fact that this is the number one issue for voters in every primary state we've covered mm -hmm. so far, John, how is that possible? Well, you saw the president down at Brownsville last week, Martha, um, as the second visit down to the border. He obviously has a close relationship with Secretary Mayorkas and, the, uh, and everybody at DHS. He had a chance to meet directly with border agents down there uh, in Brownsville. This is an issue he knows is important to the American people. It's important to him. And frankly, Martha, that's why it was so important for the Senate to pass that bipartisan bill, which included significant changes, not only in border security, but immigration policy. Uh, and now it's, it's languishing because the House won't take Take it up. Uh, the president's willing to negotiate and compromise and talk about all these things and move forward. Uh, that's why I asked about national security. Has he never spoken to? And, and you know what? We did some reporting on this earlier today. Not only Raul Ortiz, the former chief of the Border Patrol, but the current chief of the Border Patrol, Chief Owens, who you pointed out he did meet with in um, in uh, Brownsville. But from what we can find out, they had never spoken before that. How is that possible?